Man, this is a mess. Uh, this will do. GoPro plastic thingy. And various camera equipment. We're about ready to go. What is up everybody, welcome back to another episode. Today we are uh, starting a little bit of a new short series here. Um, basically, if you guys have checked Instagram in a long time, uh, there is the 1,000 species challenge that myself and 20 other anglers across the country, or across the world I should say, are um, participating in to try and obviously break 1,000 species before the end of 2021. So I figured that while I chase some of the species around here, I'll um, make each like species like a short episode. So that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna be targeting cutlips minnow at one of my local creeks that I catch a lot of them at. I don't know if we'll actually catch one, but um, that's the hope. So see you guys in the water with my fly rod micro fishing setup and hopefully we catch them. All right, we've arrived. parking in some random neighborhood because there's no parking at the creek. I'm a, I must look so strange walking down the road with a GoPro and a backpack on. I'm not even holding a fishing rod so it probably looks really weird. We're at the spot, just this little private bridge. Can't park there, that's why I'm over here. As you can see, we are at the creek. This is just one of the local uh, tributaries of a bigger river in our area. Since it's a tributary, it's absolutely full of species and the trout actually just surfaced right there, which is kind of cool, but we're not fishing for them today. Typically the cutlips sit underneath this bridge in the rock, so that's what we're gonna fish, but. So basically, you know, I have no need to buy like an actual 10 car rod for microfishing. I have a four piece fly rod, which is really nice because you can use any of the sections you want as a micro little section. So you could use this one for micros you can extend it even more you can send more you can send it all the way up to the 8.6 that this thing goes to so what I'm gonna do is actually just tie the Tanago onto the tip of this just with a little piece of two pound test and uh, that's all we're gonna need we're just gonna reach down into the rocks and hopefully catch some fish the bait of choice is just some little red worms from uh, from Walmart or whatever just gonna use a tiny piece of them and that'll be more than enough we got our Tanaga, which you most definitely probably cannot see. I'm going to start off by tying our little two pound tippet, whatever you want to call it. And then from there we're going to tie a loop knot onto here so that we could tie our Tanago onto there. There we go, which you again probably can't see. There's our little F, or sorry, uni to uni with one pound and two pound test. That'll suffice and really need to trim the tag ends. And then to complete the setup, we'll put a split shot, or I guess a clam weight in this situation, about an inch above the hook. Now, typically I won't use split shots this big for micro fishing, but I am out of literally any other split shots, so this will have to do. If not, I can just slide that. I'll slide it up a little bit. And um, this is perfect, and we are ready. So we're just going to pinch off a tiny piece of worm here, get our little leader and rig and then just hook our little piece of worm onto the Tanago. Alright, so we got our little sliver of worm in there, which again you probably can't even see from the GoPro, but we are ready to microfish. So we're gonna just walk over here. This property is protected by video surveillance. Come at me. Oh my gosh, there is a big ass trout right there. <laughs> There's about like an 18 inch brown just sitting right there. It's crazy, I should have, I have my spinning rod in my car and you know what? I'm gonna get that after this. I'm gonna catch that trout. So we're just gonna 
dabble. I saw some minnows in the rocks already. We're just gonna dabble this little thingy right, right in the rocks and see. Damn it! I'm actually my leader's actually a little too long. All right, we're gonna just dabble it right on the rock here and see. There are a few little creek chubs or something that looks like on the rock. It's kind of hard to tell to see if they're eating it. The rock is literally the same color as the worm. What you want to do is if it's just a little too long, easy. You just bring down the size of your rod just a tad. So that's what we're going to do here. Just going to get in the rocks and see what we can do. See, now we can get down closer. We can see our worm and we can... Okay, those just look like little little dace or something, which won't help us for the challenge. Oh, this little red breast sunfish. Let's see if we can catch him. Oh, dang it, we lost him. Problem with these tiny hooks is they don't really have barbs. They have barbs, but they're just so small, you know. I'm not seeing any cutlass minnows. It's a little disappointing. But there is a nicer fish right over here. We're not releasing really any cut loops, so I think we're just gonna move a little bit. Go to the other side of the bridge. There's a lot more rocks on this side, so a lot more potential. Or a cutlips minnow to be prowling. Let's see, there's a lot of shiners right in front of me. There's some glare on the water, making it just a little hard to see. Oh, I see a cutlips minnow. Alright, hold up. There's a cutlips minnow in that, in that little rock. Dang it, almost got him. I think I blew that opportunity right there, to be honest. I wasn't being very stealthy with my weight. This big weight spooked him. <laughs> there was a trout and just spooked another one. Can't actually see the fish, but I saw a bunch of dirt shoot off. Alright, let's see. I don't know why they're I'm having such trouble catching these fish. Ugh, so frustrating. People think microfishing is easy, man. It is far from that. Not really sure why they're not eating it. Uh, we're gonna do the old extendo again. Oh, I had one. The trick to microfishing, especially with these tiny tanaga hooks, is you have to be very patient. You know, it's very easy to just sit there and get frustrated while the little micros aren't eating your bait, but it's really all about patience. You know, you can see them down there, they're all going to be hovering around your bait, trying to eat it, and you, you just don't understand why they either aren't eating or they can't get in their mouth. It's just because these tiny fish are just not used to that kind of thing, you know? So, normally they're... Their food is pretty easy to get, so just gotta there we go, there's one. Aw, oh, dang. Ugh. See, and that'll happen too. These tiny barbs um on the on the hooks, you know, you're gonna lose a lot of fish as well. So you just have to be very patient with it and you'll get your fish. There's one. No. Ugh. See, it happened again. Wow, that's a strange looking cutlass minnow, isn't it? Oh my gosh, monster cutlips, come back. The thing is huge. Oh, I got something. What do we got? Is that just a jace? Oh, it's cutlips! Let's go. There you go, guys. There's the exoblossom. Like I said, I forget the exact species name, but he's not too thrilled about being in the, in the little 
tank, as you can see. Cool little fish. I'll pull him out and show you guys the little, little cut lips on his face, though. See that little mouth? That's very interesting how it's shaped. I, I think they use it to scrape, like, algae and stuff off of rocks. Um, although I have seen these guys actively eating, like, other bugs and stuff like that. So it's pretty cool. Very, very cool little species of fish, you know. This one's got a stripe on it. Very different from the typical cut lips that you'll see. But that's just because he's not living under a rock, you know. We've got enough pictures of this little guy. And we will send him on his way. Thanks for biting, little guy. See you later. Right back under a rock. So yes, we've completed our mission. We got the Cutlips Minnow, another addition to the 1000 Species Challenge. There's not really much else in this creek for me to catch that I could possibly contribute. You know, there's some rarer stuff, which I likely won't see. Um, so we're pretty much done with this. I hope you guys enjoyed this little mini series episode. I know it was kind of short and different, but I'm just, I just want to put out content for you guys to watch. I know a lot of you guys like the life listing multi-species stuff, so I uh, figured you guys would like it. If you want to see more of these videos, please let me know in the comments. You know, if I get overwhelming disapproval, then I won't post these again, but the other way around, I will post more, and I want to post more, so hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace out.